thanks to everybody for being here today. I hit the record button, so from here on out, we're going to be recording. Um, if you could all just um, mute your microphones for now, we'll have time to interact in a little while. Um, that should either be in the left lower hand part of your screen or part of your menu. The drop down menu has a mute function. There we go. Great. Um, so welcome everybody. I'm glad you could be here. Uh, I'm going to do a very basic presentation on Prezi and um, you know this isn't going to be all the bells and whistles but um, hopefully you'll get kind of an idea of what Prezi looks like and um, you'll be able to do a very basic presentation going forward. Um, so we are going to, if, if you're having trouble seeing my screen, uh, like if my slides are too big by the way, um, there should be a way in your drop down menu to adjust your um, the size of your own screen so that my slides fit your screen. That's just a tip. Um, but otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and get started. So uh, this is our brief webinar introduction to Prezi Basics. And I'd like to start off by doing a poll. Um, so we're going to use the chat box. Um, which is in your drop-down menu up at the top of your screen. Everybody could open up their chat. Um, and our first introduction question, I'd just like to get an idea of how many of you have used Prezi before, if you have, and whether you've used it formally, like to give a real presentation for work or school, or if you've used it informally to maybe do vacation photos or something. So we've got one person who's used it informally and a couple of other people who've never used it at all. Um, that is uh, pretty typical. I have actually never used it formal formally. I've used it um, just uh, in a group workshop and also I've taken um, a couple of workshops through my own work. So it's, um, we're just gonna kind of learn together. Um, my second introduction, my second whole question is, um, and if you could use the chat box again, have you ever attended a presentation either in person or online um, that used Prezi as a main presentation tool? And if so, where? Okay, so we've got a couple of people um, who've uh, seen it used at work. Um, one person who says they've interviewed a candidate with it um, or seen an interview um, situation using Prezi. And um, uh, Alicia says, yes, in class, it was very impressive. Okay, so uh, that's great. So we, we're all kind of familiar with what it might look like, even if we've never used it before. Um, so while we're going through the presentation before we get to the interactive part, um, I just kind of want you to keep in mind when, when we're watching what a Prezi looks like, um, how you think this software might be used well, how might it be useful, but also how it could be misused. So if you could kind of keep that question in mind while you're watching and interacting, and then we're going to follow up with that in, in the last part uh, in our Q&A section. And now to the Prezi. As you can see, there's a template. Um, okay. I'm going to move my video screen there so I can see. Okay, so this is um, what my presentation looks like on the presenting side. And in a few minutes, we're going to get to see what one looks like on the editing side. Um, so uh, our brief webinar introduction to Prezi Basics starts here. And I'm going to make this full screen so you can get 
a better view of it. Um, so this is Introduction to Prezi Basics. Prezi is a cloud-based presentation software program, um, and it has similar design features to traditional slide presentation tools like PowerPoint or Google Slides. You'll see when we're in our edit function that a lot of the layout and a lot of the choices for creating this Prezi is, is very much the same as doing a basic slide presentation, but your end result, your end product is very different. Prezi, instead of using um, separate slides, uses a large open canvas and it has a nonlinear zoom in, zoom out uh, movement to switching uh, pieces of information. So I kind of feel like when I look at a Prezi, I'm floating in outer space. That's kind of what it feels like to me. Um, so you can kind of visualize what that might look like um, to your audience and then keep that in mind when you're building your presentation. So with Prezi, and I'm going to show you tiny like clips of um, our editing board. Um, these are the functions, very basic functions that users can um, use. They can insert and we have our insert drop down menu here. And so these are some of the things that you will be able to insert into your presentation. Um, the first thing is images. And when you search for an image, you are searching um, on general web and on Flickr. And these are images that you are allowed to use in your presentation. So they're Creative Commons images and you can upload them directly from the web into your um, presentation. And you're gonna get a chance to do that tonight. But some of the other things you can do are videos. Um, you can draw arrows, lines, highlight. And then it's a little tricky, but you can actually um, do background music or voiceover. So if you were doing a long presentation that wasn't live, you could record your voice and then play it back with your slides. OK, another thing you can do is customize. So this white background is fine if that's all you want to do is a basic white background. But if you decided that you wanted a theme or special colors or to change um, the text color, you can absolutely do that. Um, if you were to click customize, you would get a full list of themes and you would be able to choose your themes and you can change that up until the time you're ready to present. You can change it anytime you want. It doesn't change your content. And then another thing you'll have a choice to do if you use this tool is to share in a various number of ways. So you can share your Prezi um, doing um, live or you could share your Prezi on Facebook once you're done. Um, you can download it as a PDF and you can also um, take this Prezi with you in case you don't have internet access, you can just present it off of your computer or your tablet or whatever works for you. So in this webinar, we are going to explore some very basic functions of Prezi and um, we've kind of gotten a taste of that, but you're gonna get to try it on your own. Um, you are going to start the design of a very, very mini presentation because of time tonight. Um, we can make it longer, but we probably won't have time to do that. Um, we're also going to discuss the uses and abuses of the software. So there are times when the software might be appropriate and there are times when it's probably not appropriate. So keep that in mind as we're working tonight and we'll have a chance to talk about that when, when we're finishing up. And of course, if we have time at the end, I would love to hear some of your ideas for how you might use the software and also to answer any questions that you might have about getting started or how to create an account. So with that said, let's begin. All right. Recipe for a Prezi milkshake. We are all going to make our own milkshake. And um, 
I just want you guys to, you know, first I'm going to give you a little introduction to our editing board. So, um, you know, the ingredients of this milkshake, they're all up to you. I personally like a little bourbon in my milkshake, but we can add whatever you want. And we're going to build it together. Um, the way that we're going to do this is I'm going to share my mouse remotely with you. Um, so this is the first time I tried this, and I'm really hoping it works. Um, you know, just try your best. If it, if, if it crashes and burns, that's okay. We're just going to give it a try. Um, so I'm going to um, choose somebody who's viewing right now to give Prezi a little try, and then once you've had a turn, I'll switch it out to somebody else. Um, but as an introduction to our board, uh, over on the left-hand side, you can see where we can add frames. Um, and it's very much like PowerPoint or Google Slides. You're just going to select a frame, and then it will appear on the side right here. And simultaneously, it will zoom into that slide so you can actually fill it in with something interesting. Um, so I've kind of gotten us started here with our main picture. So our presentation is going to start with this picture and it's going to end with this picture. Um, up here is our insert menu that you may remember from the little mini presentation I just gave. Um, tonight we're going to be adding images and a little bit of text. Um, this is going to be just a picture presentation, no bullet points, nothing like that. Um, if we want to customize, if we have time, I'll show you what that looks like. I just hit the customize button. It gives us a background image. Um, so we could choose maybe a different color. But down here, we can go ahead, if I were to click something else, it gives me a totally different background theme. Um, I'll just change it a few times so you can kind of see what that looks like. And then it also changes the, the background for the font or the, um, the color for your font as well. But I'm going to stick with um, brown and green because it reminds me of peppermint patty and that goes well with milkshakes and off we go. Um, oops. Okay. There's my video menu. I lost you guys there for a second. Um, okay, so. Um, feel free to, to unmute um, if, if things are kind of quiet in your background there. If you have any questions, we can kind of work together. Um, but I think if it's okay, I'm going to choose um, somebody to go first. I hope that's all right. Uh, I am going to choose, hey, Kelly, do you want to be my guinea pig? <laughs> okay. Um, so, Kelly, we want to fill in this slide right here. So our first ingredient for our milkshake is going to be ice cream because, you know, kind of can't get around that. Um, and I would like to um, choose, I'm going to get rid of my customized screen here because we're going to need that space. There we go. I'm going to um, give you my remote uh, mouse and I'd like you to use the insert to search for images of ice cream. So I've got you all set up here. And okay, is that working for you? No, I don't think so. Okay. Um, am I supposed to like move? Your clicker. Um, move your mouse a little bit. Let's see what it does. There you go. Okay. Good. So okay. We're, there yep, go. It is working. Yep. Hmm. Let's choose an image. Could be a good image. That one's nice. It's processing. Okay. Great. So. Excellent. If you, that's great. Okay. Um, and I'm going to give the remote control to someone else. And if you could um, mute your mic, and I'll have somebody else give it a try. 
Okay. Um, I'm not sure how to go back to you. Oh, um, okay, I'm on you. there you go. You got it. Great. All right. Let's have um, Beth. I'm going to give you my remote mouse. And um, you can unmute if you need to, if you need to talk with me at all. Um, I'd like you to go ahead and add another frame to our milkshake. Let me know if that's working for you. Beth Yay. is saying she's not in a quiet place. Oh, okay, great. Okay, Beth, um, go over to the left-hand side where it says invisible frame. There you go. Now you've selected a new frame. Great. And let's go up to insert up at the top there. And let's choose an image. And what might be the next um, ingredient that you'd like to add? Okay, so we're going to throw some sprinkles in there. And you should just be able to um, either double click on that or click and drag into your frame. Nice. And let's drag it all the way over into the frame that you chose. Now we're gonna resize it. So let go and use the corners to kind of Bring it down a lot. There you go. <laughs> Great, perfect. So there's our frame, and I'm gonna zoom in on it. Um, let's see. And Beth, go ahead and add um, some text. Type in what we're looking at here. Nice. And then we can kind of drag that text box up to a place where we can see it, like above the sprinkles. If it'll go that far. May not. There we go. Perfect. And you can let go. Great. And edit. <laughs> All right. Awesome. So I'm going to add um, another frame. And I'm going to turn the remote control over to Alicia. All right, Alicia, you ready? Yes. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and search for um, another ingredient that you might put in a milkshake. We've got ice cream, we've got sprinkles. Ah, milk. <laughs> <laughs> It always appears big, and um, that's just how it is all the time. So you can go ahead and shrink that down a little bit. And then kind of drag it over. Excellent. Now, if we had more time, we would really play around a lot with, you know, kind of sizing it and fitting it and mm -hmm. using our whole screen. But I'm kind of, I kind of just want you guys to get the feel for what you can do 
um, picture wise and then adding some text and stuff like that. So this is nice. again, very basic. Um, so when it, let's zoom in on that. Go ahead and click on that frame there. That should bring us in. Whoops, maybe I'll try it over here. There we go. Um, so I'm going to turn the remote over to uh, Vale. If you can't hear me, Vale, I don't know if you can. Um, go ahead and add uh, the word milk to our picture here if you can. You're going to click on the picture and just type in text. Okay. Good. Nicely done. And because this is white, we can actually change the color. And she's got it. Yep. Excellent. So she just used the um, text menu, which is another option on here. It's, you know, pretty much set up like Word or anything you might type with. You've got your fonts and your italicized bold and your different colors. So we might leave it for there for now. Um, but uh, she's going to, and you can reposition your text so it kind of makes more sense with your um, with your presentation. All right, so I'm going to end the remote control there for now, and let's go into present. So I kind of want you guys to see um, what this looks like when you're done. Um, now, if we wanted to, we can move these slides around so it goes this way and this way, right, left, up, down, but we kind of did it in a just to the left sort of pattern. So if I were to move just by clicking my right left keys, um, we've got ice cream, we've got sprinkles, and we've got milk. Um, if we had more time, we'd put it all in a blender and then present it nicely. And then to end up, uh, that, would, that would be our ending. Um, so we're gonna do a really quick discussion and then I would love to answer any of your questions. So. Um, if you can't talk, if you don't have a microphone or it's too loud, please feel free to use the chat. But um, my follow-up question is, um, what instances might you use this? And, uh, you know, what instances might you not use this kind of presentation software? Well, I would definitely use it for uh, business presentations at work mm -hmm. uh, or if you're doing a keynote or anything, I, I like Prezi because of the movement, yeah. because of the nonlinear movement, which, you know, brain research shows that it engages us and it keeps our attention. Great. And so, yeah. This it, I, can you hear me? I this can. is Vail. Hi, Vail. Oh, cool. I was unmuting it and this, the button was sticking. Oh. Um, I like this when you have to present pockets of information, mm -hmm. but you may not want to overwhelm the person all at once. You can present like this is a, um, a grant that we've got, but you need this, this, and this, and you can have those different sections where they can keep going back to one section until they really got it. Right. That's, those are great, uh, great examples. Anybody have an example of when you might not want to use this? Pecha Kucha? <laughs> yeah, I think it would be bad if you had, like she said, if it's a small amount of information, but if you have a lot of information, mm -hmm. all the movement might get a little oh, annoying, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> I, you know, the first time I went to a workshop on Prezi, our presenter said um, that that is one of the main complaints is when Prezi gets overused. So, you know, thinking about a small presentation or something you want to be really fun and engaging, like Alicia said, um, but, or, or something, you know, like, like what Vale said with business grants, but if this is going to be a, an hour presentation, um, he said that people actually get dizzy watching Prezi's um, for long periods of time. Oh. So you'll, you just want to be mindful of your audience and mindful of how long your presentation is um, to decide if this is the right tool for you or if you need something like PowerPoint. 
um, which can be fine too. Uh, so uh, we're going to just uh, wrap it up. Um, if anybody has any questions, I'm happy to answer them. How did you get the circles and the other one? Um, so in my, let's see if I can find that. In this one, when you log in, when you create an account, um, you can choose templates. So I chose a template to work from. So this is a pre-made template, um, whereas our work page is uh, something totally from scratch. And it's not loading, but we'll come back to that. If you were to go up here, though, you can insert symbols and shapes. You can also go over to the invisible frame and change the shape of your bracket. So it doesn't have to be this invisible frame bracket. Oh, nice. It That's could be nice. a circle, rectangle, it could be invisible. So if you don't want anything, any kind of symbol getting in the way of your picture or your presentation, it could just be like words floating in outer space. And that's basically what it looks like. Um, but I would say if you were kind of starting out, you might want like a, a symbol because it keeps things kind of together. Mm. Any other questions? Nice presentation, Anne. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm glad. Yeah, it's, it's just play around with it. Go create a free account. Um, choose the EDU account because that is free and it also allows you to have privacy. Um, nice. So you oh. your college email and um, you get the best of both worlds there. I did uh, not know about yeah. that. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Sure. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Right, thank you. Have a good evening, ladies. Thanks. Thanks so much for joining me and uh, have a great night, guys. You too.